this place where and then it just went dot 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 For a cat like me who likes to explore different kind of storytelling, to have a space like this where we can exist with other artists and co-creators and participate in work that is not just about our own, but really starts shared visions and stories can come out of that, that's, that's beautiful. I'm an artist and a designer and, and I also happen to have a, a tattoo shop and a barber shop and a music room and a gallery. You know, so I have some toys, you know, we built kind of an artist Shangri-La about that, but I'm not the master of anything, I'm, the, I'm a student of everything, and, and that's what I get to do, is I get to keep, I get to keep learning. Just finishing up my first kid's book. I just started extending this series of musical animals that I created. And they really were just these live alone pieces, but having them play music and create this story just was so natural once we started, it made sense. They were meant to be these vignettes. They were meant to, to, to be each animal playing its own style of music. And then when they come together at the end, there's this big collage of all of these crazy animals doing all of this crazy music. I'm not saying, oh God, I can't wait to sell this piece when it's done, or I can't wait to, to I just am doing it. We're just making it right now. So a space like this that acts as a catalyst for code creativity has such value to me because it's experience oriented as opposed to results oriented. When we do things without the lust for result, um, they're the purest actions that we can participate in. When I was f uh, about five years old, maybe I started coming up and hanging out with my grandfather in uh, Los Angeles, who was, a, who was an artist uh, and a printmaker. There was such beauty in the relationships and the people that would come through his space. I watched him do what he wanted to do and make the images as irreverent as he wanted and as politically charged as he wanted. And he was a fucking, he was a, he was a mad man, he was beautiful. Some of it was scary, man. I remember looking, he had done a, a chapter heading in a book and it was a picture of Medusa. And it is one of the most striking and terrifying images I've ever seen. And I was so proud to be able to show my friends when we get home. He loved telling his stories and he was just, you know, he was an amazing, amazing illustrator, amazing instructor, and certainly like one of the greatest inspirations for this existence. I didn't necessarily have the kind of coaching I needed, you know, early on. Uh, my grandfather was an inspiration, but he was also a really, he was a hard dude too, you know? He didn't pull any punches. I was in a world of squares, man. Like, it had a sterility that I was also experiencing where master plan communities were the norm there and, and rec centers. I remember my dad saying that that art shit's not gonna get you very far down the road. You probably need to figure out a different skill set. I left, I escaped, came up to LA. 
I go, yeah, so I'm gonna go get my portfolio done, and then I'm gonna go get accepted to Art Center, and then I'm gonna fucking get this hustle on. So after art school, I, I got courted and went to, a, to work for a, a fairly large company. Fucking Monday morning skylight meetings and casual Fridays, and I'm like, yeah, man, nah. It wasn't necessarily the day that I knew I needed to do something like this. It was more that I just knew I fucking didn't want to do that, man. I'll never stop working, uh, uh, so why not make the space uh, that I can do my life's work in? The space is called Nomad and is not nomadic, the energy is. been here for five years and, and I run my clothing line out of the space and, and someone orders some things for me and I go, cool, and we print them out right there, man. No one's getting shit off the shelf here. It's like, so when people go, hey man, there was a little spot of ink on the bottom of that shirt, I'm all, yeah, I should have charged you extra, you know? Like, uh, you know, that's hand done, man. I feel like I'm paying into a culture that I really am inspired by and so I'm participating in that culture. My portfolio is a very kind of diverse portfolio, almost schizophrenic. Giving myself structure is really a, probably the way I would start my process. So it starts with me and my hand and a pencil and a minute. It's never really formulaic, like, okay, we start with a thumbnail, we move on to a five inch sketch, we do three versions of comps, and we go like this. Sometimes I'm just like, fuck, I'm playing guitar, I go, I got it, you know, and I'm out. I love the romance of the tattoo language. You know, it's funny. Tattoos are fucking therapy for dudes that don't go to therapy, okay? That's what they are. They're pain, you get to sit, you have a beer, you talk with your homie. You know, that's a, that's a relationship. You, you guys are doing something together. It, it's not about one or the other. We're in a time of very uh, nothing new under the sun. Everything's very fast. Pretty soon it becomes very disposable, very expendable. When everything is on your social media calendar and everything's getting blasted to you and, and everyone's updating you on everything that's going on in their life, including taking a picture of a fucking omelet and then sending it, you know, and then sending it out like it's something important. I've seen some of my favorite bands play in my own house, in my own studio here at Nomad and go, I don't care if anyone knows, man. It's just me and you right now, and I'm singing along and we get to do this, and fuck, isn't that as valuable as anything? I mean, these days when it's disposable, that's what's valuable, that's what's rich. You know, I didn't have all of the, all of the ideas set. I didn't have the plan, you know, put together like that, but I knew that there was something and I just couldn't stop. Once I, once I realized, or once there was a moment where um, I realized I can make my, way my way and I don't have to answer to anyone except my own uh, true commitment to that instinct to continue then uh, then that's, that's that's the dream man that's that's my dream All over again and says give it I hope that when people look at my work, they see that I was having a fucking fantastic time doing it. You live!